Hello, people of the internet. I am Di Gremlin, and welcome, 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 to week two of season four of the Pokedex Holders League. The South End Stoutlands are taking on the Rayleigh Raichus, coached by Lee. I'm Di Gremlin, proud coach, proud coach of the South End Stoutlands. And um, last week we got off to we got off to a flyer, you know, one and oh. Uh, if not for the, the crit on the Forges, probably would have been a 6-0 and we'd be number one in the league right now. But we are, we're joint second right now and we're taking on Lee who, he he took an unfortunate loss week one. And it was unfortunate because he really, really should have won that battle. Um, not through hacks, like there was a misclick, turn one. And I don't know if the, I don't know if turn two was a misclick as well. But, um, you know, that he made some misplays in that match, and he really could have taken it. And, and I know he, he feels like he's lost this match already, but, man, it's, it's a scary one. So we've got we to gotta make sure we win this um, because, you know, we, we, we can't lose this match. He will never let me live it down. So let's run through his team really quickly because his team is scary as shit. Um, he's got the Necrozma, um, which is just a super... Super bulky son of a bitch. Like it has better than base 100 across the board defenses and an ability that weakens the power of super effective moves. So that's going to be really fun to take down. He's got the Raikou, fast electric type with a little bit of bulk to it. You know, it can set up car mines, fires off those big bad boy powerful volts, which is uh, that's going to be. That's going to be annoying to deal with. Suicune. Suicune is just a bulky, bulky son of a bitch, and he loves his Suicune. Um, it just it just sits there, it rests, it can roar, it can calm mind, it just picks up all the scald burns. That is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with if my counter to it goes down. Um, as you can see, I've, I've kind of prepped for that. And then, then things get scary, because Lee is a man who likes his offense, and he just drafted a team of just straight wall breakers, and it's kind of terrifying. So let, let's let's run through some of these wall breakers. He's got the Curim, um, which has base 130 attack and 130 special attack. I mean, just are there even any switch-ins? Just not really, no. <laughs> it's like a choice for Excurium. It just it just body rocks me. But even then, like he could run. It's like oh, dude, it's a dragon type. Um, probably gonna be especially offensive. Just use your Forges. But then it gets Flash Cannon and Iron Head, and you could just run the Steelium Z, run the Corkscrew Crash, and then I'm just dead. So I can't do that. Um, he's got the Darmanitan base 140 attack. That Flare Blitz with sheer force, it just destroys everything. Like, I was going to run a max HP, max physical defense Don fan with Rocky Helmet to take it on. I was like, oh, that'll be a really good thing to take on Darmanitan. No, no, Flare Blitz 2, it KOs me. So, can't do that, which is wonderful. It's got the Tornadus Incarnate, which is another pretty fast mon with base 111 speed. And, you know, it gets all the same coverage as my Tornadus Therian and actually hits a little bit harder. So that's, that's wonderful, you know. Oh, it's just I don't know. It's it's, it's not good. Uh, he's got he's got the X Cloud, two respects boom burst, rips through just about every Pokemon ever. It's just a stupid powerful thing. Pangoro, Pangoro hits so goddamn hard. And once again, you're like, dude, you could, it's a it's four times weak to fairy. Just bring your Forges. But this thing gets the gunk shot. This thing can Oko my Forges. He shouldn't be able to do that. He's a dark fighting type. Uh, and then his, his hazard removal options are the Togekiss and the Delmise, um, which, I mean, I don't really anticipate Delmise, I don't think it has the best matchup, but you could bring it, like, purely as a rapid spinner. Like, let's say he brings all of his weak to rocks mons, then I guess you might want to bring it. I don't know, I don't anticipate it. It's still a good mon, it gets, gets three stabs, which is just stupid. And then he's got the Togekiss, which is a pretty versatile mod, could be bulky, could be offensive, could run the Defog, could have Roost, you know, could be pretty annoying. And then he's actually got the Steelix, which is surprisingly enough um, a pretty big threat. Um, it's basically his only Beedrill switch in and his only Jolteon switch in. 
Um, and, well, that's unfortunate because otherwise those two mons kind of run through and Steelix just completely shuts them down. Um, so, what do I think he's going to bring? I think because of the, he has to bring Steelix as to whether or not he realizes that and actually brings it is a different matter. But I think he's got to bring the Steelix. Um, he, he's got to bring the Suicune. He definitely has to bring Darmanitan and Kirin. And what at least one of them's got to be Choice Scarfed. I'm, I'm predicting Choice Scarf Darmanitan because I think Kirin needs the power output against my team. Like, Scarf Kirin, it gets the coverage for my team, but then I have things that can stop it. So I would imagine a Life Orb or even Specs Kirin. Um, so what was that? Steelix, Darm, Suicune, Kirin. Um, the Raikou... It's, it's a definite possibility. I, I could see why he wouldn't bring it. I can see why he would bring it. Um, I think he's going to bring the Tornadus because it's just so freaking good. Um, he, he could bring the Necrozma. I'm not... I don't think I personally would bring it if I was him, but he definitely could bring it. Um, a Togekiss could definitely come. Pangora could come. Oh, it's just there. Like, I don't think Delmise is going to come, and I don't think x is going to come. But, for example, he could go Necrozma and Pangoro and run the Trick Room side to his team, which would be very annoying, and I know... I know that he's actually... I know that he knows of that, um, and he, he's threatened to bring it, basically, but it's fine. We're prepared for it. Um... My team should be on the screen right about now, and it is, you know, it's it's Mega Beedrill, Tornado Therion, Infernape, Florges, Donphan, Jellicent, Jolteon, Zygarde Dogger, Bronzong, Alolan Persian, and who didn't I say? Probably Shaman. Um, so without further ado, on to the actual team. And so, kicking things off, we have Beavis. The Mega Beedrill, and uh, I forgot to mention in the team builder last week that I didn't bring this thing. I thought it had an okay matchup, but Bray had like two or three things that could actually deal with it, and because I, I knew she'd be terrified of it, and so I knew she'd bring all of them, so I knew that this thing would be pretty much useless, whereas this week, Lee has literally one response to this thing, and it's his tier 5 Mon Steelix. This Mega Beedrill puts in so much work. U-turn, two hit KOs, everything barring the Steelix. Poison Jab Oko's like half his team. Drill Run still does, it, it's like 30% to a max physically defensive Steelix. Um, and then I, I, that was really the only three moves that I needed. U-turn for initiative, Poison Jab if it kills, Drill Run for Steelix. And then I was like, hmm, what do I put for this last move? And I looked at... I looked at Defog, I looked at Swords Dance, I looked at Toxic Spikes, and I just, I, in the end, I decided to go with Fell Stinger, which is a really interesting move. It's, it's like 50 base power, it's a bug move, but if you kill something with it, you get to plus 3. So let's say I've already worn down the Necrozma from a U-turn before, Fell Stinger will easily kill it, and then I'll get to plus 3, and if he doesn't have any Choice Scarfers, I just win with Mega Beedrill, just straight up. Um, and because my team is so goddamn fast, I am able to run the Adamant Nature. I'm running enough speed to outspeed... This is this is kind of weird. I'm running enough speed to outspeed a Choice Scarfer that is trying to just outspeed my Tornadus Therian. Um, I really wanted the Adamant Nature. I thought that was really worth it. I looked at other calcs. It was definitely worth it. And so I was like, hmm, what what speed do I hit? Because I could have just gone to the Raikou, but I was like, you know, there's a chance maybe he brings a Scarf x Cloud, and that can't outspeed Jolteon, so you'd speed creep it to outspeed the Tornadus. So, kind of weird, um, but, I mean, it was either this or less speed, so I figured we'd just go with this. Up next, we got my boy Wingman. Um, hopefully he's going to hit the field this week. Um, he's he's up against his, his little brother, but he's he, he knows where his allegiance lies. Still rocking out with the life orb and the regenerator, but um, going with a bit more of a specially oriented set this week. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess last turn was 
last week rather was 50-50. Um, we have the heat wave because of the Steelix, because I just, I feel like he's not going to bring it, but I have to prep for it, because if, if I don't, then I'm just going to have so much trouble breaking it down. Uh, U-turn just for initiative, sludge wave for things like the Togekiss, and Hurricane kind of nukes everything else. Um, so this, like, it's it's not the best set in the world. Every single time you're on a tornado, so you're, you have to accept that you, you can't cover everything, but there's the possibility that you could cover everything. And um, I like this set. I like this set a lot. Um, it's bulky enough to where it can take most hits from things. I could run a salt vest so that I could take a hit from the Raikou, but then I don't hit it back for that much damage. So um, we got enough speed. We got enough speed to outspeed the Raikou. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty self-explanatory set. It's just got the attacking moves that I need. U turn for initiative. And uh, then, then we got my boy Bellend. My boy Bellend is back, and um, he's he's gonna put in work once again this week. Um, rocking out with the lefties and the levitate, as there was, I, I could have run the heat proof, but the levitate was more important in case of the Kurem's Earth Power because this thing is my Kurem switch in, um, and I know that Kurem gets Shadow Ball, but I feel like that's the least likely move for him to hit. Um, rocks really hurt his team, Gyro Ball will hit the Kurem and things like the Togekiss and his other fast ones really really hard. Toxic is there just for the Necrozma basically, like if, if his walls are in um, then this thing can't do that much to them but because you can see I'm bringing my full, full Volt turn core, I might Volt switch or U-turn on a wall and then be like oh well I don't know, like, wh what do I go into here? And basically, I go into Bronzong. Um, I've, I've got to try and keep it as healthy as possible, but at the same time, it's my switching to just about everything. Um, and then we've got the Earthquake for the Raikou, as we are specially defensive, and Raikou is kind of a problem, but it's also kind of not. Like I said, it's a weird matchup for Raikou. Up next, we got one of the MVPs from last season. My boy Ohm's Law is freaking back. And um, I was, I was very tossed up about this set. Um, we we're rocking the same speed as Beavis is for the same reason. Um, basically, I I was considering I I was considering anything else here. I was like, maybe I bring Forges, maybe I bring Donphan, maybe I bring the Zygarde. I don't know if Shaman's got the matchup. And then it, uh, and then I was thinking about running a Spadef Shaman to take on the Raikou, and I was like, oh, this thing gets the Volt Absorb, and he only has one ground type, and I'm really prepped for that ground type, sort of. Yeah, I am really prepped for it. So I don't really mind it. So if he doesn't bring the Steelix, it's just free Volt Switches for days. Um, I can switch in on a Suicune, take any hit, and even if he goes for the Calm Mind, I still 2 a KO him with Thunderbolt thanks to this choice specsedness. And we have the Shadow Ball for Delmise and Hidden Power Ground for the Raikou and the Steelix. And this is a this is a good Pokemon. I think I think Jolteon's gonna put in work this week. Up next, we have a Mon that I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to use it. Um, I drafted it like last or second to last or something. I was originally going to draft Cough for Grigus, that got sniped, and I was like, ah, you know what, I can do with a bulky, a bulky water. And this is the matchup for a bulky water type, because this thing can actually switch into Darmanitan. It can do the impossible, and we have the water absorb, which means I can't lose to Suicune. This thing, it completely shuts Suicune down. Uh, we are rocking Max Physical Defense. With just a little bit in speed, in case in case he doesn't go with the Trick Room Pangoro, and he only puts like enough in speed to try and outspeed my Jellicent, then you know we can hopefully outspeed that. He'll probably go like max speed, but that wasn't worth it to me. Um, Scald is pretty much going to be our move of choice, but Will O Wisp to burn the physical attackers is going to be very, very, very nice, and then we can hex them afterwards for huge damage. Recover. Is just so useful. You can really keep my General Melchit healthy. If you if you understand who General Melchit is, shouts to you. 
and we have the Culver Berry because um, the wall core that I'm bringing this week is both weak to dark and ghost, I guess, but, um, hmm. Ooh, ooh, Delmise could be a problem. Nah, nah, it's fine. That's fine. We just go into Wingman. Um, and the, so the Culverberry is basically for the Pangoro and the knockoff on the Tornadus Incarnate. As Tornadus is kind of a problem, and this thing does also switch into that. I just, I have to keep it healthy for Darmanitan, because Scarf Darmanitan is a goddamn problem. And I was at this stage of the team build, and I was... I was somewhat confident and I was somewhat really nervous. I was like, I've got good offense. I've got I've got okay enough defense. How do I win this match though? Because like he just has to bring a scarf down Manitan or a scarf Kirim and he just wins. And how do you beat Scarfmons? You bring a faster Scarfmon of your own. Caesar is my saving grace this week. Caesar is my win con if ever there was one. Caesar will outspeed everything barring a scarfed Raikou, which would make no sense, or a Scarf Tornadus, which would make a small amount of sense, but then it just doesn't do the damage to my Jellicent, or my Jolteon, or my um, Bellend, or my Tornadus, so I feel like he's got to run a life orb set, he needs the power. Like, this thing, this thing does so much work, it basically, it can't Oko the Necrozma, but I have a Mega Beedrill, I got U-turn on like everything, I've got Toxic, um, Jellicent, even Jellicent hits the Necrozma for super effective damage, so I don't really anticipate that, and I can deal with it, um, you know, this, it destroys the Steelix, it destroys the Delmise, it can Oko both Kurem and Darmanitan, importantly enough, um, what's the other important thing, uh, it can Oko Pangoro, it can Oko x -Bloud. this thing, it just does so much work. If I can whittle down his team with some U-turns and U-bolts, which is, I can just bring in Caesar every single time and just get a kill. Like, guaranteed. And at that point, it will be, how do I play my sax, right? Because it'll be like, I go into Infernape, you know, maybe he's got the Curem out, I go for the close combat. But then he brings in the Necrozma, so I'm like, okay, I'll switch out, sack something off, and then I can bring in something else, like Mega Beedrill, and destroy it. Um, and then he could beat that with the Scarf Darmanitan, and then I just bring in Caesar, beat that with Earthquake. Like, as long as I have more Mons than him, I should win with this Infernape. Um, hopefully, that's the plan. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really, really fast-paced game, I feel. I feel like it's just gonna be punch for punch, um, and whoever has the best offense, I think, will win. And because my offense is faster, and I have Volt Turn like crazy, like I said, I'm bringing my fully, I'm bringing my full Volt Turn core. This was the core that I drafted around to try and beat anything and everything, and I'm actually bringing it, and that never happens. So, I'm really excited for this match. It's gonna be a good one. I just, oh, I have to win this. <laughs> like, I know that Lee really feels like... He, he feels like he's lost his match already, and he feels like he's out of the league already, basically. But, um, that's not true, Lee, and you know it. Um, and I, I just... I just, I will never hear the end of it if I lose, so... Uh, battle should be up after this, probably, probably, like, the next day or something. I am going away this weekend camping, so I don't actually know when the battle will be taking place, but I'll figure it out, and... I'll see you in the battle.